Hi guys, Dane here, and today I am going to be doing the RuPaul's Drag Race book tag. So this was created by Cats and Camera, and I was tagged by Graham Quigley. I will link to them both below. I'm sorry, I didn't do drag. I, you know, I could have tried it, I guess. Oh, I just hit my step count by s slapping my legs. You just saw me hit my step count without moving, so that's something. There are seven questions to this tag, and I'm going to go ahead and get right into them. Quick disclaimer, I haven't really seen the show. I've seen, like, bits of it. Basically, every now and then when people share highlights, I've like seen some of those, but I've never really watched it. But my other half is a massive fan, so I said I'd do this. Right, question one. Eleganza Extravaganza, your most expensive book purchase. So my answer to this would be Tom Phillips, a humiament. Um, I don't actually know. Let me quickly look. Oh, I can't because I've turned my computer off. But Well, not my computer. I've turned my keyboard off to plug my microphone in. But uh, this is a treated Victorian novel, and it's basically almost like blackout poetry I want to say he literally took this uh, this 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 book called a human a human document and uh, did all these paintings throughout and turned it into poetry as well so it's beautiful to look at but there's also like the words let me read some or I'll attempt to you know it's fairly innovative so it's difficult but a dream of music a thought for reading eyes sing through the hushed ear iron theatre has night everywhere look into three of its images she was who she was she was Irma her boots were so placid and faded and rose colour. It's just a really beautiful artefact, but also I don't know exactly how much I paid for this, but it was quite a lot because it's not particularly like common, but also because of the nature of the book, it's like expensive to print on the high quality paper and all that stuff. But um would definitely recommend this if you get a chance. Question number two, pit crew. Aesthetically pleasing books. I am going for these. So these are the Penguin Little Black Classics and the Penguin Mini Modern Classics uh, and so I got the box sets because they're so beautiful because they're, they're pretty like reasonable as well they're a pound each or like one dollar fifty each so even like this was like 50 bucks and I've paid like 45 pound for it which is a lot but not for 50 bucks you know so like they all look like this they're very very pretty I've just taken this out and now it needs to go back in our numerical order. Here we go. Next to the gigolo. Lovely. So yeah, and the blacks look much the same. I didn't mean that in a racist way. Question number three. Comeback Queen. An author that you either lost interest in or took ages to bring out a new book that came back with a bang. So one that I've kind of lost interest in is Jasper Ford. This is the Well of Lost Plots. I've got some of his other ones. I read like the first two of these, the Thursday Next books, and then I picked up like three more of these in this series, and then like two or three of his standalone ones as well. Because um, I saw them all for a pound each in a charity shop, so I just bought them all. And now I just can't really be bothered to get back into them. But I probably will at some point. I also sat at one of his desks once at the uh, Story Museum in, in Oxford. You can sit at it, it's very cool. He completed one of these, or a few of these books there actually. Hey Biggie. Question number four, don't fuck it up. A sequel you're dying to read. That, this one's over here. That would be Lock and Key Volume 6, Alpha and Omega uh, by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. And this is the sixth and final Lock and Key uh, book in the, uh, in, the, in the series. And so I've read one through five and that one, I'm literally gonna read it next, but I'm just finishing uh, Film It Cuts title pending by Ollie Jacobs first, but I don't have long to go. And I had to wait on these because uh, my other half read them before me, so she, she just returned it to me. Question number five. Snatch Game. Who did it better? Compare two books with similar plots, tropes or covers and let us know who did it better. Okay, so for this we have The Stand by Stephen King and The Passage by Justin Cronin. And Stephen King did it a lot better. I think this, The Passage I gave two out of five and The Stand I gave five out of five. Uh, and I will be rereading The Stand later. Uh, this year, November. Looking forward to it. Question number six. Reading is fundamental. Read some of your favourite books. And by read, we mean throw shade for those not in the know. So, um, these aren't necessarily my favourite books, but these are some, some books by some of my favourite authors. I mean, this one is my favourite book. This is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. And this is just Philip Pullman using the medium of sort of teen fantasy to get his correct views across about the evils of organized religion. Just, oh, how could you like that? How could that be your favorite book? 
Uh, then we've got, what have we got here? We've got Nosferati by Joe Hill. I mean, he's just trying to be his dad. Uh, here we've got, here we've got his dad. We've got Misery by Stephen King, which is just another Stephen King book about him writing about an author. We get it, Stephen King. Write about what you know. You're not supposed to take it that literally. Jesus. And then we've got some Agatha Christie as well. So we've got Hercule Poirot's Christmas, which is just like a rude Belgian interposing himself on this British family as they're trying to have a nice traditional Christmas. And then we've got Miss Marple's Final Cases, which is just some old pussy sticking her nose in things where it doesn't belong. And question number seven, RuPaul's best friend race. Tag some people. Okay, so as always, I'm going into my recent comments. So I am going to tag... I'll do Charles Heathcote, yeah. Uh, Regina's Haunted Library. Creepy Quills, new, uh, new channel I recently subscribed to. Uh, reading Fandom, Dom, which is why his name is great. Alex Black as well, Jaden Reads. Time for books, because for some reason I thought she didn't do tags, and then she was like, yeah, I do do tags, so now I'm going to tag her. A.G. McDonald as well. I would like to see him actually animate himself in drag. That would be wonderful. I'll do Jason's Weird Reads as well. So there we have it. That's what I made of RuPaul's Drag Race book tag. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. If you've read any of these books, etc, etc. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.